Oh, what an adventure! <laughs> Get lost with Google Maps. Good morning, everybody. Wow, look at this glorious day. It's early in the morning. Hasn't gone. Well, the kids aren't even in school yet. Uh, so there we go, it's early. We got back from the city last night after dark and uh, went up there. We had to see some friends. We saw some, uh, uh, I went and picked up a solar panel at E-Solar e that I want to show you. We saw some uh, friends some, uh, that we're going camping with and we uh, we're discussing aspects of our next trip. They're going to join us for some of the trip, not all of us, because she's only got five weeks holidays leave. Okay, so we're going to look at this panel here. This panel is a metre uh, wide thereabouts by uh, 1,700 millimetres or one metre seventy centimetres I think and this panel here is the same length and it's just a little bit wider sorry for my fingerprints on it I'm gonna get back to that panel in a minute okay so that panel is just a smidgen bigger than this panel this beautiful split cell panel and these are just, just a bit dirty uh, performs absolutely great, highly recommended, fantastic camping panel, um, it's a brilliant panel, it's coming off going down my shed, alright, that one there basically is going to bolt into the same footprint except for the width, and that might even fit, it might just squeeze in there, if not I'll just have to shift my uh, tube that holds me four tent poles um, me, me extendable ones for the camping toilet I might have to shift that over a bit um, no huge job he goes the kids off to school so the school's just so it's at least 8.30 in the morning alright now this this panel look it's been a few years since I put it up I can't see the writing, it's there. I'll show it to you later when I got it all off. I believe it's a 300 watt panel. All right. This panel, for damn near the same footprint. Okay. And this is this awesome panel. Is a 400 watt panel. All right. Now, I'm really excited about this panel. Really excited about it. I was really excited about these split cell panels when they come out. Because they basically split your panel into two panels. Which meant that you could totally shade one half of your panel and you'd still be getting maximum volts out of your other side. Which is fantastic for MPPT charge controllers. Uh, but in grid ties where you've got shading, it just meant that um, your grid tie, it, uh, it didn't affect your whole system, okay? All right. I and I have taken that like a giant leap forward, okay? A giant leap forward. Now, each one of these is a cell, okay? Um... And basically they've put all these different cells together to make one panel. And then they've put all these different cells together to make one panel. So they've got basically two panels in one panel, okay? And that would just make those awesome. What makes these awesome, and uh, clever people at Hyundai, they've made this one cell one complete cell there's less soldering involved they say solder at the top they solder at the bottle bottom that is one complete cell so 
Each one of those, if you're talking in old school, that's a separate panel, that's a separate panel, that's a separate panel, that's, a, that's all the way down. So the amount of shading that this little uh, beast can handle is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Okay. We're going to put that on the camper. We're going to take that camping and uh, test the time. Uh, we're doing some really rough four-wheel drive tracks. Um, we'll test the sturdiness of the panel. Um, and I, as you can see, I've had no trouble with that one. Uh, this one's got the same frame. It's uh, double glassed. It's um, cyclone rated and everything else like they have to be in Australia. Um, I can't see any problems with this panel um, either. So we'll, we'll see how it goes, people. All right. All right. We got the panel off, the split cell panel, the split cell panel, the uh, other one. My wife's going to help me here. But you can see at this end, I've got them together here. And if my wife holds them straight like that, if you can hold them straight like that. All right, so they're together at that end. My wife's holding them up straight. Now, you can't let them fall, love. No. No. Don't smash them before I even use them. And at this end, we got, I don't know, what's that, 30. And the whole length, can you grab the tape? Hold it there. The whole length of this panel, you got it? Yep. Is 17, 20. All right. Let it go. Now you can see... Let it, let it go, let the tape go. You can see the, lean it back a bit, you're leaning forward, you know, get it straight up and down. You can see the uh, back of the panel, it's a wider panel, okay? By how much? Well, you can see that for yourself. I, I can't actually see that, but I think it's four or maybe five. 14 centimeters. 14 centimeters or maybe 15. All right, but the, Total length, and you can see there's a together at the bottom, is um, 1140. 1140. 11,040 millimeters. All right. Um, so, yeah, let it go. Put them back against the wall. Okay, so now we're going to face them to the wall and have a look at the wattage, okay? I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so bear in mind there's very little size difference between these two, okay? All right, here we go. Now this has been on my trailer for one and a half years. I'm totally amazed with this one, okay? This split cell panel, totally amazed. And it's from eSolar. Okay, and 315 watts, okay? And if you, all right, 19 kilo, okay? And look, that's been a great thing. <coughs> it stood up to all the rough roads. Um, and it's been an absolute fantastic panel. Okay, that, I can't say anything more. That's from Silvio. <coughs> excuse, excuse me. <coughs> All right. Now with this new solar panel just here. All right, that uh, we brought home from e Solar yesterday. Virtually the same size. Virtually the same footprint. Okay. And it's 400 watts. Okay, so it's a 75 watt increase. Okay. So, this is 315. Okay. 315. Is that an 80? 15. 
80, 85 watt increase, is it? 315 and 400? Yeah, 85 watt. 85 watt increase, sorry. That's nearly a third more, my wife says. So I just have to correct my maths. It's been a long day already. Okay, 400 watts. Okay, 22 kilogram. All right. So this one was 19. 19, this one's 22. So that's not even a greatly increase in weight. Okay, and I'm getting an extra third, an extra 85 watts out of it. Now, this is where we're mounting this on the trailer because uh, the best test for any solar panel is how you intend to use it. I intend to use this one, the new one, the same as I use the old one. And I will be able to uh, tell you um, real quick once we get on holidays um, how good or how bad or how indifferent or whatever else this panel is. I think it's going to be absolutely marvellous myself. Okay? But as always I will be honest and I will show you the charge controller, I will show you the computer um, from the iPad, I'll show you the outputs and everything else. Alright, so basically we're just mounting that up there. Now, it is wider. I did have to take the, uh, right, the uh, camping pole holder off. Um, we're going to mount that on the side and just leave the solar panel up there, which is going to be great because even with the extra few kilos of the solar panel, um, it's still going to make the roof lighter. Well, this new solar panel, I would have to say, is one of the most amazing solar panels I have ever tested. Okay. Um, it's mounted. It's all good. It's in the shade. We turned everything on. And it's under the veranda. And it's bringing in 1.3... These batteries are full, by the way. It's just because um, I charged them the other day when I charged up that new lithium battery a couple of weeks ago. So we're bringing in 1.4 amps. All right, 18 watts. And it's underneath there. You can see that for yourselves, people. All right. Um, I reckon this panel is going to be totally awesome in partial shade. If it's doing that under full shade now. Now, some companies, all right, to get so-called more power out of their panels, and to get a higher efficiency, okay? They put the panels between two sheets of glass, they put the cells, and then they rely on the reflection. They don't put any white plastic underneath. And then they rely on the reflection, so they've got to be mounted up off the roof at an angle, and your roof ideally has to be painted white. So it reflects as much light back as you can. And that's how they cheat and uh, get the higher efficiency ratings, okay? Um, but this is the first panel I've seen, okay, that I have ever tested that fits in basically the same footprint as a 315 watt panel and is rated at 400 watts. Now, on our next camping trip, we're going up above the 26 parallel, okay, like I did with the last one. And we're going to see what comes out of this. Now, I've got max fuses, sorry, max circuit breakers, okay, in the battery circuit breakers. All right, I've got a 20 amp 
on the input on the solar input and I've got a 30 amp on the battery output of that 100 slash 30 Victron charge controller over there okay now that's uh, got a maximum input of 425 watts I believe that's from my memory if you want to find out go and look up the BM the, the Victron uh, 130 Bluetooth uh, charge controller MPPT charge controller and find out for yourself but I think the uh, maximum is 425 watts that's a 400 watt I never thought I'd see the day we put this one on 15 months ago 15 months ago these split cell panels were the hottest thing on the market they were totally awesome okay these things up here wow what an improvement what an absolute improvement um there's not much else i can say